Welcome to today's three-minute catechism challenge. Refresh the knowledge of your Catholic faith with only a short commitment every day. With these short videos, beautifully animated in a hand-drawn style, learning about the faith has never been so engaging. This is a wonderful opportunity for parents to take on their godly responsibility to ensure that their children understand who he is. All who participate faithfully will have a good foundation of knowledge of their Catholic faith. Today's topic is, what are the degrees of the sacrament of holy orders? What are the degrees of the sacrament of holy orders? The sacrament of holy orders has three levels. The bishop has the fullness of priestly authority. Through the laying on of hands, he is connected in direct lineage with the apostles. That means that a bishop was ordained by another bishop, and that bishop was ordained by another bishop, and he <laughs> another bishop, and that bishop was appointed to his office and ordained by an apostle. This direct line back to the apostles is called apostolic succession. The task of a bishop is to guide a part of the faithful to teach and to sanctify them. Such a part of the church is called a diocese or a bishopric. Because typically the bishop can't do all the work by himself, he has helpers. Of these, the chief are the priests. They constitute the second level of the sacrament of holy orders. Priests are ordained by a bishop and are entrusted with a specific task. The principal task of each priest is administering the sacraments. When a priest is given the task to lead one of the many smaller parts of a diocese, called a parish, he is called a pastor. When a priest is sent to support a pastor, he is called a vicar or assistant pastor. Aside from bishops and priests, there is yet a third level of holy orders, the deacon. The deacon is ordained and commissioned to help the bishop or a priest. He can baptize and preside over marriages and is entrusted with other pastoral tasks. So, those are the three degrees of holy orders. But what's with the Pope, then? Well, being Pope does not actually mean a higher level of holy orders. Becoming Pope is the result of an election. In terms of the sacrament of holy orders, the Pope is a bishop. However, he is the Bishop of Rome. As Bishop of Rome, he is the successor of St. Peter, who led the Christian community in the first century. And as the successor of St. Peter, the Pope has special authority, which he has to exercise for the good of the whole church. In the three levels of holy orders, we can see the hierarchical nature of the church. But this hierarchy is more about service than rule. Don't forget to get your copy of the Catechism of the Catholic Church at the Ave Maria Bookstore here at Guadalupe Media, while supplies last. Useful for this challenge as well as Father Mike Schmidt's Catechism in a Year, starting in January 2023. Thank you for partaking in today's three-minute Catechism Challenge. We look forward to your comments and engagement in the discussion boards.